Hey everybody, Aaron with bushhoggingservices.com. Uh, I am just leaving a job. It is uh, actually a new job. It is a 60 acre uh, bush hogging job, uh, bush hogging horse pastures that have got away from the landowner whose husband died, I guess a year or so ago. So now she's trying to figure out how to keep up with such a large piece of property. They've got a tractor that they used to use, I guess, and maybe they had horses or cow or something that helped keep the uh, grass under control, the fields uh, properly trimmed. But uh, that tractor only has about a five or six foot uh, cutter on it. So they just simply can't get to it. The kids aren't interested in doing it. Uh, obviously, 60 acres with a five or six foot cutter is just a lot, a lot of time. So, um, you know, I gave her a price and I could see she was kind of shocked by it. So I asked her, I said, well, what, what have you done in the past? And she said, well, I had this older gentleman that would come out and do it and he did it last year and I called him this year and I can't get a hold of him. I said, well, what, what did he charge you? And she said, well, he charged me $2,500 to do 60 acres with a five foot bush hog. It must have taken him a week to uh, you know to get that done so you know I run into that all the time where somebody has an expectation of a low price because of something that was done in the past which is basically a mistake on the other person's part thinking oh you know hey 2,500 bucks that's great that's money I don't have all I got to do is drive around on this tractor and then they realize how long they have to be on the tractor or how much it costs for their time the fuel sitting in the sun probably if he doesn't have an enclosed tractor something of that nature and all of a sudden the money's not worth it to him anymore so this guy just didn't call her back which is you know uh, being older maybe he just decided he was getting out of the business and thought it would be best just to break ties I mean I, he should at least call her back and said hey I'm not doing that anymore good luck to you I don't have a I don't have a referral to send your way so somehow she got a hold of somebody else in the area who somehow knew that I had a batwing mower and he uh, he did bush hogging but he he knew he only had a regular bush hog who wasn't going to be able to do a 60 acre property so this will actually be the largest property that um, that I have done and I'm looking forward to it the fields are nice they're gonna be real nice cutting um, I'll bring the zero turn out uh, with the tractor and use that to cut the corners in the all the pastures so I'll go through all the pastures I'll cut the fence line with the zero turn. I'll cut around all the trees uh, that have the fence around the trees to protect them. And then I'll do the corners so I don't have to get involved in you know, doing all the backing, uh, back and forth, back and forth. Plus I have to bring the zero turn to get the, uh, the path that's in between the paddocks uh, since it's not wide enough for the bat wing to open up and actually cut uh, you know, in that area. So it's gonna be a, uh, a, a big project but the reason I can do it is because of the investment in an expensive commercial grade batwing mower and 12 feet. Uh, sometimes I wish I had 15 foot mowers for a place like this, but you know, it'll be, uh, it'll be relaxing. It'll be you know, probably 24 hours. If I can cut, you know, uh, uh, probably three acres an hour, obviously it's 20 hours. So two and a half days plus moving equipment and things of that nature. So it's a, it's a three day job, uh, also with the zero turn. So it's gonna be a good project. Uh, I gave her what I thought you know, was, a, was a good price to make it worth three days of my time. And I'll just indicate that I'm averaging better than uh, $1,500 a day with that mower. And I've got, I put together a rate card. You know, if I'm using a regular bush hog, it's this amount of money. If I got to use the big bush hog because it's a big property or it is uh, the vegetation is such that it warrants a big piece of machinery, then you're going to pay a premium for that particular piece of equipment, right? And then uh, when I add an excavator to my inventory, then that's going to be even more because I look at what's the cost of the machine and the implements that are there and what's my competition for uh, providing services that only these pieces of equipment can, can uh, handle. And if the competition's low and the equipment cost is high, then the cost of the customer has to be reflected in that. And 
that results in more profitable business versus uh, going after jobs that you know anybody can do with a five or six foot bush hog, uh, which means the competition's high, the investment is relatively low because that can be a fairly inexpensive tractor and a used bush hog. So uh, you know prices are going to be down on that type of service. So it's just you know uh, just an example of something uh, that is different and uh, something to think about as you try to build your business uh, with this. This is not full-time work for me. This is weekend work that I enjoy. Um, so it is, I'm in a different situation than a lot of you that are out there, but um, you know, it still produces good income that I enjoy, which allows me to make these investments and uh, stay ahead of it. So uh, that's all for now. You'll see future videos on the property once I start to get cutting on it, which is gonna be sometime in the next 30 to 45 days. And uh, stay tuned, so thanks for watching.